So what is the what's the what's the billing interface? What's what's the information is it showing me, James? You have a couple of different options here for your client. Um, if you have a particular client that you want to have them pay individually, you can do that by pressing the pay now. Uh, that basically takes it to an interface that's like this. There's a single user. I can select whatever information that I need, how they want to pay, if there's 100 items processed or 50 items or even uh, higher than that, 675 items. Uh, we can do CSV import fees and we can do a bank fee directly. We can do it for one month. We can do it for one month or we can do it for multiple months, which is reoccurring. Okay. So, so this is really if I'm a bookkeeper and I want to and I want to pay for the service for this particular client. The, the client doesn't actually get billed though, do they? That's correct. They do not. Yeah. Okay. So it's just the bookkeeper to pay for the services for that particular client. Okay. Now it is possible that you could do that. That you could have the client give you their PayPal information and they would pay for it directly. Uh, but typically, it's the bookkeeper that's done that. Okay. What a what a bookkeeper is typically going to do is um, they're going to have multiple clients and they're going to they're going to pay all of those clients at the same time and they're going to they're going to use this kind of a format and they say oh I know that this particular one only does 25 items this particular one does 100 items um, you know this person does the CSV and bank fee but this person doesn't and then I can select all of these things and go down to the bottom and then I can pay all of them at the same time okay and it gives me a grand total for one month that particular point in time. Wow. Okay. Thanks, James. That's, that looks really good. Okay. So I can just pay uh, pay just like part of one of my for one of my clients, or I can pay my whole bill every month. But I have that capability to to choose how and when I pay. That's correct. Okay. And this particular example you showed us, I think that was on monthly billing. What happens if I have some clients on monthly billing and some clients? Well, I guess they're all on monthly billing, aren't aren't they? Yes, they're currently all on monthly billing. Yeah, okay. All right, thank you, James.